Shalom, shalom. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are. It's a blessed day that the Lord has granted us. What a blessed day. Again, in our own view, whether we see it as a blessed day or we see it differently, it shall be so. It shall, it shall be exactly as we we chose to perceive it all right and uh, of course that choice is based on the understanding you have and the lack of understanding will of course push you into another understanding which might be destructive the mind of a man a lot of times tricks that are played in his mind and he doesn't know that this is destructive it's not it's not helping you at all all right so it's paramount for us to wake up and uh be able to to to, to see it all right as it is so and we'll be free from the tyranny of these thoughts and ideas that are popping up all the time to lead us into self-destruction again in the book of hebrews chapter 11 verse 11 the bible says by faith sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed she received strength the word receiving strength is something special something powerful happened to her Sarah has received strength. Now, when you read in Amplified Bible, it says, because of faith, also Sarah herself received physical power to conceive a child. So there is such a thing as the physical powers. Physical powers. Physical powers. There's physical power. There's all uh, um, physical power, or if you want strength. So now, what does this mean on oh my mind now first and foremost we have to understand that at this age at this time she was 90 years old and uh, physically speaking this was not possible in the uh, yeah that, that is biologically speaking physiologically speaking whatever you might uh, however you might put it we, we're seeing something here so she is now receiving strength physical strength strength in her physics in her physical body all right so that means something happened which is only uh, summarized in this word uh, physical strength or strength so in her physical body something happened and that kind of the regeneration that took place in her body and that enabled her to give birth oh my goodness it was divine but think about this this was not necessarily possible or available or obvious or even common to everybody this was so special we've got to underline 
the, the special part of this, that it was so, so special. In fact, this was a miracle. This was a miracle. And uh, the miracle is that she received strength in her physical body to conceive even when it not, was not possible in the world of men. By faith, Sarah herself was received strength to conceive sin. And she bore a child when she was put the she was past the age because she judged him faithful who had promised. So he says, and she bore a child when she was past the age because she judged him faithful who had promised. So she had a promise that she will conceive and give birth to a child. And in this verse, all right, let me go back into Amplified and see what he's saying. He says, because of faith, also Sarah herself received physical power to conceive a child, even when she was long past the age of for it. So the idea here, or the impossibility we're seeing here, is that she had long past the age for it. So the age to conceive <laughs> it had not just passed, it had long passed because she had doubled actually the age that she was supposed to conceive. Now imagine in that situation, in, that, uh, in this case, it was literally impossible. And, and I mean, even today, you can say that it's literally impossible. But the Bible goes on to say because she considered and who had given her, she considered God, who had given her the promise to be reliable and trustworthy and true to his word. My God, this word she considered. In this uh, Amplified Bible, they say she considered. Now, how do you consider? In, in, in King James Version, they would tell us she, because she judged him faithful who had promised. She judged. Though so there's other vers versions that will use the word she thought. So she judged in her mind, in her heart. She judged. She considered. She was convinced. She she knew this was the kind of thought that these are kind of thoughts that were going through her. So the judgment, the consideration is about the conviction, what she came up as a conclusion. This was her conclusion of the matter. The conclusion on this matter was that no, she has to conceive because the one who promised is reliable. So this is what we see in Amplified Bible because, because she considered God who had given the that had the promise to be reliable and trustworthy and true to his word. My, my, my. She considered God who had given her the promise to be reliable. And do you know this is the secret? to see God as reliable, to consider God is reliable, to consider his word as reliable and trustworthy and true, that he's always going to be true to his word. And that is to say, on the contrary, when we do not consider, we do not perceive it that way, we are considering that God is not reliable and that he is not trustworthy and true to his word. Do you know that that is a conclusion that you have to get to have in your mind before you doubt? You cannot just doubt. You see, you doubt some few things, but you don't doubt everything. There are things that you're con convinced of or about because of certain experiences or because you have seen it over and over again. Now you don't have any doubt. 
why is it that we doubt God? Even the idea of doubting in our thoughts and our minds and our hearts. You, you do that because you have concluded that he's not trustworthy, that he's not reliable, and he's not true to his word. Did you know that that's what we are saying? He's true to his word. He's reliable. And, and, and that's it. That's what she considered. That's, what she, that's how she judged the matter. So it, depend, it, it matters how we judge the situation, how we judge the matter. You see here now, she's judging the matter that way. And the judgment she passed on that matter had to produce either the right results or the wrong results. Whatever results, something had to happen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You see how your judgment, your conclusion, your conviction determines what happens. Are you, do you realize that the body wasn't normally supposed to conceive a child, but because of her judgment, which was consistent in her heart, altered her genetic structure, altered everything in her body. There was a gen, gen, generation, regeneration that took place in her body. The Bible calls it strength. She received strength. She received something that served as the answer to conceive. In verse 13, he says, These people, all right, sorry, sorry, chapter 12, verse 12, rather. So from one man, though he was physically as good as state, there have sprung descendants whose number is as the stars of heaven and as countless as the innumerable sands on the seashore. Do you see this? This is for, so from one man, so there is one man now he is talking about the husband, he's talking about Abraham. And also Sarah. In other words, from these people, something happened. From one man, though he was physically as good as dead. Imagine that uh, there's a man that we consider as good as dead. There are have sprung descendants whose number is as the stars of heaven. What is he saying? He's saying, you are one man, you know, from you, what the world had never seen can see it through you from one man who was not considered as anybody the Bible teaches it shows us that through he was though he was physically as good as dead there are have sprung descendants whose number is as the stars of heaven so he's saying do you know the stars that you can produce you do you know the stars that, and that is based on the conclusion the judgment she had in her heart, the judgment that Abraham also had in his heart. And as countless as the innumerable sons in the seashore. Do you see this? Therefore, from one man and him as good as dead were born as many as the stars of the sky, and multitude innumerable as the sun which is by the seashore. So this is what was produced by a person who judged well the matter. So it is saying that based on your judgment, you either stay barren as far as production is concerned, or you become the source that will produce as many stars. The Bible said in, in multitude innumerable, as the sun which is by the seashore. Imagine what will come out of one man. This is what he's saying. Based on their judgment or how, what they are coming so about.